Hi friends, welcome back to another episode of Archives Tutorials. Um, I'm Renee from the Archives. Uh, today we are going to look at ebooks, um, specifically the library's historical ebooks, so our digitized um, historical books. Uh, cloud library and like checking out books like fiction like fun reading that is a different video and that will happen elsewhere um so let's get right to it and i'm going to share my screen with you as we usually do um, and i hope you like my new background it's very exciting planetary out of this world because why not okay so first of all let's start off we're going to go to our site DeferredHistory.com, it's MacArthur Library Archives and Special Collections. So when you come here, there are two places where you can go for the ebooks. Um, if you look here in this menu, we've got ebooks right here. You can also go straight down, are you looking for books? Yes, we are, Internet Archive, right? That's right there. Um, also Minerva, that is our regular catalog. Um, that's got the whole entire library collection in there. Um, and we are working on linking those records along with our digitized books. Um, and I'll show you an example of that as well. Um, so let's just start here going to the our ebooks page here. So when you click on that, that brings you to our ebooks page. Um, and all ebooks links direct you to Internet Archive. That's where we put everything, all the books that we digitized. Um, the starred titles that you see in this list are materials not digitized by MacArthur Library. So I didn't scan these. These were scanned from other con contributions from other libraries, but they're the, the same books um, and they're important for us. And so there they are. Um, I just wanted to differentiate so you could tell stuff that um, stuff that I scanned or that someone from the library scanned and stuff that was contributed from other libraries. Um, right at the top of the page, I hope this will be um, uh, useful to you. This is our featured first. So these are all um, the first of their kind. So we've got here the uh, first city directory, the 1849 city directory is right here was the first city directory in, in the city. Um, the first annual report put out by Biddeford when they became a city. So the 1855-56 annual report link right here. Um, the first history written about Biddeford is the history of Stockholm Biddeford 1830. That's the Folsom book that we refer to as the Folsom book. Um, that's right here. And the first yearbook, which we've digitized, which is 1899. And just to clarify, so it's the first Olympian, volume one, number one. And actually when it first came out, it was a more like a school paper or a literary journal rather than a yearbook. Um, so just to, when you, when you click on that, there's no pictures in it yet. Um, but it's still pretty amazing. And the rest of the list you'll see is by topic. So, um, and then it's just uh, by year. So Biddeford Sacco, so the earliest Biddeford Sacco book, 1830. These, the numbers you see on the side is the year that these books were published. So the annual report, um, a bunch of various titles um, through 1955. Biddeford Pool in the Sea, so these are books specific to the pool um, about seafaring and um, um, shipbuilding, stuff like that. That's right here. Business, we've, uh, and you'll see some of these um, titles will repeat because they come up in more than one topic. Um, business, we've got the city directory, we've got a uh, Sean Clark sewing machine company Churches and religion, schools and colleges, um, textile mills, and then our neighbors, um, Saco and Old Richard Beach, um, because we are also interconnected and um, it's important to include these other, our, our, our neighboring cities because um, we appear all throughout each other's histories. So um, make sure to include them when we try to do that. 
So, so that's this page. And so, so if you want to click on a title here, go ahead and you just click on any link on the link. And that's going to bring you to the Internet Archive. And as I've said before, that's where we put all of um, whenever we digitize a book, um, that's where we put it, put it to. And what happens when you come here and it's a wonderful, it's very useful, it's super user friendly. And um, I, I hope you uh, have a good experience here because I think it's the most user friendly site for just regular people to be able to read books. Um, so when you come here, you'll see uh, right at the top of the page, you'll see the actual book, the digitized version of the book. And, um, and you can you just you can flip through it. You turn the pages and you can zoom in. So you can look at this is the double page view, which is uh, just like a regular book. And I and that's really fun to use. Um, but you can put it on a single page view. So you can just do one page at a time and kind of go through it that way. Um, and you can zoom in and out. So you can zoom it right on into these pages so you can read them. That tiny, tiny little writing. You can zoom right in there. Um, this is the 1849 Stockholm Biddeford directory, the very first city directory um, for our cities so much information in here. So, so that's using those controls, zoom in and out. Um, this will bring, make it full screen. Um, and then you can go back out. So this is handy if you're reading on uh, a tablet or your laptop or whatever, and you really want to get in there and read, especially if you've got tiny print. So if you scroll down, you'll see all this very useful information about the book that you're looking at will say have the uh, the authors if we know publication date um, some tags so you can uh, search for similar things um, we catalog all of our books in here with some basic information about the the book um, and then off to this side this is what's really really awesomely handy about internet archive is that it processes the file into a readable, downloadable file that you can use for all kinds of different um, readers. So if you're reading on a Kindle, this is the Kindle file. This is full text. Um, this is EPUB, um, DAISY for print disabled users. Um, all of these files, you pick the one that works for whatever reader you, you use, you click on it, and then you can download it to read to your device. So you can read it online, you can download the file, and it's there for you to use um, in whatever way works for you. When you go back down to the bottom of the page, you'll see some similar items. Um, you'll also see uploaded by, this is uploaded by MacArthur Public Library. Um, and so you can click on MacArthur Public Library and it'll bring you to our site here on the Internet Archive where you can see our other materials on here. Um, so I'm just going to close this and go back to ebooks. Um, and so if you go, so that's the ebook tab here. You go back to the home page and you just go here to this general internet archive link that we have set up there. It's going to bring you to um, the MacArthur Library page at Internet Archive. So this is where you're going to see all of the stuff we've uploaded. Um, that So the city report um, City Directory, A History and Stories of Biddeford, which we um, digitized um, recently. Uh, we've got all kinds of Pepperell manufacturing books, um, Souvenir of Biddeford Centennial, a lot of um, uh, small interesting pieces here. Um, what we also have is if you, when you scroll down, when you're at this site, the MacArthur Library site, 
if you scroll down, you'll see MacArthur Public Library Favorites. Um, that page is where I have um, tried to find other, this is where I, I put um, books that have been digitized by other libraries, but that are about Biddeford, Saco, Old Orchard Beach, Biddeford Pool, Fortune's Rocks, whatever. Um, so, uh, and this is a link of the Biddeford Mills Museum also put stuff up at uh, Internet Archive. Um, so I've linked to them here as well. And they've got a wealth of awesome stuff up there. So um, basically, this is just another way to um, see a lot of great Biddeford and Biddeford area material on Internet Archive to read, read these books. Um, and an important thing I just want to point out at the, if you go to the Biddeford Mills Museum, they have, so they've done a lot of these really cool ledgers, but even more useful, I think, or of interest to a lot of people are they have digitized the Pepperell Sheet newsletter, which was a newsletter um, with tons of illustrations that was put out by the Pepperell Mill. It was an employee newsletter. Um, and they've been and they've been digitizing those. And so this is the place to go for those newsletters. So if you want to see, so we've got like Pepperell Sheets, June 1940. So they have it by by the, the month, the publication month. So it's pretty easy to browse and find stuff. Um, and so I just wanted to point that out because it's very useful and a lot of people want to see the Pepperell Sheet newsletters and um, that's the place to go for those. And when, so when you see, um, if we have a reference to the Pepperell Sheet newsletter that, you know, somewhat for a, a family or a picture or something like that, you can come here and, and look at those online here. Okay. Um, and let's see, the only other kind of Thing I just want to point out. So if you go, if you're ever in the library's art, the library's regular library catalog right here, Minerva. And um, like I said, we don't have all of them linked up yet, but for example, the history and stories of Biddeford. Um, so if you're in here and you're looking up historic books and you see this, connect to digital copy available. This is where we have linked a digitized version of this book to the record. So you can click right there, digital copy available, and click on it. And that will bring you here to the digitized version of the book, which you can, you can then download, read, here it is, you can flip through it. Um, all of that awesome stuff. Um, you can search in it. Let's see. Oh, my little, my little picture is blocking the search page. That's not very helpful. So right in here, you can search inside these books too, um, which is really awesome. So if I wanted to look up, um, oh, who's a Thatcher? Try this Thatcher. Let's see. Um, well, this is working, of course. Um, Okay, well, in general, when all the stars are aligned, um, you should be able to search, um, search within the book um, where, it's, where it's working right, but it's not going to work for me now because I'm recording. Um, anyway. <laughs> all right. Oop. Let me do that. Let me put that over here. So that, those are our digitized 
historic books. Um, again, you can get them straight. Internet Archive has the whole um, plug of them here at the ebooks page at bidfordhistory.com. Um, let's see. Um, if you Uh, if there's a book that we have linked to here in the local names area, like here we have the um, Albert Marcel, uh, who was like the first Franco um, mayor elected in Bedford, and his image is in this book that we have digitized. Um, we try to link to it. So you can click right on the link and that will pull up the book. Um, and Let's see. Oh, Thomas Emery. That's who the Emory School was named for. Um, let's see, I thought I could pull up Mr. Marcel's picture right away, but anyway, that's the link. Um, so when you're searching around in here on the lo in the local names. If you come up with something like this, this is a, a link to, um, to a book, a digitized book, and it will bring you there to that site. Okay. Um, so that's it about ebooks. Um, again, you can always email us or um, call, send a message on Facebook. Um, however you're connecting with people these days, you can reach out to us if you have a question. Um, if there's a book that you're really dying to be able to read and it's not too huge, or like a pamphlet or something, um, you know, let me know. That helps us decide what to scan, what to digitize. Um, and if we can do it, we'll do it. And um, if we can't, we'll see if we can figure out uh, another way to get, get it to you. Um, and that's it for our historic ebooks. And I uh, hope you enjoy it and um, take care. And we will see you soon on the internet. Bye, everybody.